and welcome back to Jenny Thermal Crazy Kitchen. Today in our series Cook With Me, I have chosen a recipe from the barbecue cookbook and I want to do together with you the Korean barbecue pork with a rice salad. I'm planning to give it a little bit of twist now because I have planned in 2021 not to fall off my low carb healthy fat slash keto bandwagon and I will substitute the rice with cauli rice. So I hope that's going to be to your liking as well and without further ado let's get started. So one of the reasons why I have chosen actually this recipe, uh, depending when you are going to watch this video, is um, on offer this month in January 2021. We do have a host reward and that is the Meter Plus. And in this recipe, we, I can combine a couple of things showing you. First of all, um, many of the mix shop items I'm using here today are available for you as well. I'm going to put the link down here. So uh, at the end of this video, um, have a look and a visit at the mix shop and you'll be surprised with the beautiful things we have available there. Let's swap over to the camera on my Thermomix and I show you how guided cooking on a TM6 works and using the meter plus as well. All right, here is already our familiar screen, our home screen, and I'm using, uh, by the way, this stylus pen that makes it a little bit easier to bring up recipes and to operate here on the screen. So um, I have added that recipe into my weekly meal planner and I have planned cooking that one today. And here it is. So how to find and res do recipe planning on cookie do is something I show you in a different video um, here on my YouTube channel. Just have a look at the cookie do tutorial and it'll all be explained there. All right, so here's our recipe and that's what we're aiming for. This is how it should look like later on. All we need to do is click on start cooking and we are preparing now um, today I'm going to do it in the oven. You could also use the meter plus obviously on a barbecue but also in a fry pan or wherever you are uh, preparing your meat. All right and here it is my first mix shop item that I highly recommend. It's my absolute favorite at the moment. It is a silicon baking tray. So um, the, the, the middle part as you can see it's silicon and it well, it's so easy to clean, you just wipe it off afterwards, but the frame has a steel inside, so you can use that as a tray. And um, I've already made an omelette in there, for example, so it's so nice because the egg just doesn't vanish, it doesn't go away because it has these edges here. Alright, so that's what I've done. My oven is now preheating up to 160, de uh, sorry, 190 degrees. Now it wants me to put a little jug on top of the, let's go back, I was a little bit too fast here. So now it, um, it tells me, place a little bowl on, onto the mixing bowl lid. And what we're going to do next is we're gonna weigh in some water. So I'm gonna click on next. So you can see it brings up the scales automatically and it zeroes it back, All right? So now it wants me to weigh in 40 grams of water. There we go. Wow. You can see the one gram increments there. 41, that's fine too. And clicking on next, and it wants me to add a teaspoon of corn flour. I um, use a little bit of substitute for corn flour because, as I said, I want to go back to um, low carb slash keto. So I want to avoid everything that has carbs only in the slightest. So I'm gonna mix that up, um, stir it a little bit with my little whisk here, um, and then we're going to set that aside for later. All right, what does it say next? We are going to place two cloves of garlic and something I've prepared earlier here, two cloves of garlic. Yep, popping them in. Next, 
One um, fresh is this red chili trimmed and cut in, into halves and deseeded if preferred. Um, I haven't got a, a red one today. I've used, I'm using a green one. That's absolutely to your liking and what's available. And a three piece um, fresh ginger peeled. Um, I always peel and slice my ginger and keep it in the freezer. So that was easy for me to prepare because I just took it out and I'm going to pop that in right now. Now, next step, it wants me to add 40 gram of soy sauce. So, and again, it brought up the scales automatically and we're weighing in 40 grams of the soy sauce. I prefer the tamari, but that's absolutely to your liking, whatever you prefer to use and what you like best. There we go. That's the 40 grams. Clicking on next. And 50 grams of white rice wine vinegar. You get all of that in your normal um, shops, in the grocery shops, supermarket, in the, um, in the uh, Asian food aisle. And 60 grams of soft brown sugar. Um, I'm using a substitute from Natvia, that's my favorite, and I found this brown sugar alternative. It absolutely looks like brown sugar, as you can see. And, whoops, <laughs> a little bit too close to the camera. And that's what I'm using today. But obviously, feel free to use um, normal sugar or brown sugar as per recipe. Again, this is completely to your liking. And next is 40 grams of water. There we go. Next, and now it wants us to insert the measuring cup into the mixing bowl lid and pop the lid on top. Right, now let's see what's gonna happen next. And now it has set the timer to 20 seconds, no temperature, and it asks us to turn the speed selector to speed eight. So this means we're just chopping up all the nice, beautiful ingredients we just popped in there. What I'm doing. Nice. All right, so let's have a look how this <laughs> looks like uh, at the inside at the moment. I need to show that in this camera. Whoops, here we go. I need to be careful so I'm not <laughs> dripping it off. So that's an, a marinade that we just made. And now we'll need to go back to the screen and see what we're gonna do with this marinade. Fold back and put the lid back on top. And now we are cooking this marinade for, for two minutes on 90 degrees and says turn speed selector to speed one. And here we are, the next step has finished. Clicking on next and now we are supposed to add the, oh, can you see the steam and that smell? Mmm, that ginger and the sweetness, it comes straight out of the bowl right here. So now we're adding the corn flour mixture to thicken up our um, marinade a little bit so it sticks better to the meat. All right, popping the lid back on. So far, so easy. Would you think you can do that yourselves? <laughs> so meanwhile, let me introduce you to the Meter Plus. What's a Meter Plus? So Meter, uh, I'm holding it the other the wrong way around. <laughs> Here we go. So the Meter Plus is a meat thermometer and it is what well, comes in this beautiful wooden box and if you take it out you will see um, it's going to start flashing here soon so that meat thermometer is connected via bluetooth to this box and this box is will be connected to well uh, one of your smart devices to your phone or to your ipad to your liking and um, it will tell you when the meat's done. So I'm going to show you that in a moment when we're popping the meter into the pork. And voila, 
I'm small. We are being called summoned by our Thermomix back into the kitchen. And uh, now it wants us to transfer our marinade. Mm, let's have a look at that. And my kitchen smells so divine. You can see it's a lot more um, thicker than it was before. And now it wants us to transfer about 100 grams of the of the marinade sorry, <laughs> into, uh, into a separate bowl. And so what I've done here is I've just popped in a little dish into my Thermix directly. And so I don't wanna guess how much are 100 grams. So can you see the three dots here before the next sign? If I go on them, that's when you can bring up the scales inside a recipe. So now I can weigh in my 100 grams of the marinade right straight into the dish because the whole machine uh, this has the built-in scales all right that's very very handy so you don't have to bring out an extra um, extra appliance here all right putting that aside now I'm going out of my scales and back into the recipe now it says place a ceramic dish bowl onto or into the mixing bowl lid and weigh in the pork. All right, so we're not gonna have a ceramic one, we're gonna have a glass bowl, and I've put in the, the pork already. All right, so, and now I'm pouring the rest of the marinade directly into the, onto the pork. By the way, this is an extra spatula that we also uh, pr um, have in the mix shop. I love them particularly because they do have a very long neck. And this way, I don't go with my hands into the bowl. And they're super, super sturdy. I just love them. I have them in every color. They come in charcoal, red, and this beautiful green. All right, so now I'm just coating my meat with the marinade. And now this is when I think my tray here comes in handy. So what I'm going to do is I transfer my pork onto that baking tray straight away. All right, so we're going to keep a little bit of the marinade um, for later so we can uh, um, sprinkle that on top. And next it wants us to insert the meter plus. All right, so now uh, we are going to insert the meter into our pork. And um, preferably we want to, air, to have the, the probe in, uh, in the thickest part of the meat. So that uh, looks at the moment like the thickest part of my, of my meat. And there's a little imprint here, and that means I need to insert it at least until here, all right? So that is pretty straightforward. Um, making sure I'm finding the middle of the thickest part in my meat. All right, so now I wanna show you here on my iPad how the meter and the setup for the cook works. So I open up the, um, the app and now it says tap to set up a cook tapping on that so here you can choose what do you want to cook a beef pork poultry lamb fish or other so we want to go with the pork and um, as per instructions from the thermomix we are going to choose the tenderloin and here again i can choose whether i want to have it medium rare medium uh, medium well or well done so i'm a little bit of uh, a well done fan in this case and that's what it tells me. So it's aiming for an inside temperature of uh, 71 degrees. And that's what the meter plus is basically estimating whilst we set up the cook. Click on start um, the cook. And I'm going to pop that into my oven and you're going to have a look what happens next. So you want to have 
this device here close to the to the probe wherever that is in the oven in the barbecue um, or in the fry pan or even in the varoma when you do the steaming right so this these two uh, the probe and the box need to be within about uh, a meter or so distance from each other I'm showing you that a little bit closer so now you can see um, the meter app is actually estimating the cooking time and that will depend on a couple of different factors so first of all the internal temperature of your meat depending whether you have it straight out of the fridge or if you had it set outside to reach room temperature first then that's the target temperature that we want and here it also measures the ambient temperature Good news is we can just set that aside for now and wait until the app calls us back. Similar to the Thermomix, right? <laughs> All right, the next couple of steps are not very spectacular. We are just going to chop up some cabbage and, um, and some Asian greens. That's not really spectacular to look at uh, a one second chop, but that's basically the mixture of the cabbage and the bottoms of my bok choy. And that I've just put, put that on the bottom of my salad plate. Now we're moving on. And as I said earlier, I want to make cauli rice instead of normal rice to keep it a little bit lower in carbs. Oops, that's the meter plus. Um, uh, app calling me. Wow, look at that. Remove from heat. I'll do that immediately. Ooh, look at that. So here is my um, pork tenderloin and now you can see the, the probe still sticking in it. I've got some beautiful sauce coming out of the meat as well. And um, now all we need to do is keep an eye on our meter app so now it suggests that we are resting our pork for another three minutes so whilst this is resting let's quickly continue with the salad all right so now it asks me to place the simmering basket on top of the bowl and now you can choose which kind of rice you want so instead of the jasmine rice i'm using my cauliflower rice that i've just grated up a little bit earlier uh, basically just the sizes of the florets that should have approximately the size of your thermomix dial and I'm just weighing in the 250 of the cauli rice instead all right here we go so uh, this doesn't need to go uh, and rinse but if that would have been normal rice obviously that's what we would do so I'm taking off the lid just so to, uh, to show you, that's when a lot of um, mistakes happen when uh, when we don't pay attention. So because if I took the because I took the lid off, my scales went into minus. So very important to press the tear button here. And now we're weighing in 900 grams of water. A little bit more. <laughs> and we're adding a teaspoon of salt. And I just wing it, I'm um, not too fussed about that, but that's again completely to your liking. All right, now we are adding our simmering basket and I always make sure that the lid opens up towards me and that the opening does align with my handle. All right, so we can press it in. And now I'm putting the lid on top because now we are going to um, use the Varoma, set the Varoma on top. So what you can see here, that's new for the TM6. They have introduced also videos onto the screen. So here they show you how you can cut out of a piece of baking paper, a Varoma sheet, so it fits into the Varoma. You water it, you wring it out, and pop it back onto the Varoma tray. But I promised you to show you my favorite mix shop items and one of them are the Varoma sheets. They come in two different versions. 
One of them does have holes in it, so that goes on top of the tray and it releases more steam that can go um, through the through the Varoma dish into the tray. Uh, but also it will let the juices from whatever you're cooking um, drip back into the bowl and add more flavour. So depending on what you're making, these ones with the holes are the ones you want to go to. Both of them help you cleaning the Varoma a lot easier. And today we're going to use the sheets that are um, without the holes. So this one here. They're just they're pre-cut and now I'm going to water that quickly and wring it out. Right, let's go back to the screen and now it shows us that we should add some um, eggs, scrambled eggs on top of that. So now you can see why we don't want the ones with the holes. So these are just two lightly beaten eggs and I'm going to spread them out here on the tray. So we are going to steam uh, a little omelette for our salad whilst we are cooking our coli rice. In the next step, it asks us to secure the Varoma lid. Just means put the lid on top. And next is 13 minutes on Varoma temperature and uh, on speed two. But since it's not real rice, it's only cauliflower rice, I can reduce the cooking time here to about let's say eight minutes. So after the resting time has finished, our app tells us basically it's ready to eat and it also wishes us happy eating. So how easy is this? So the time is up, uh, but I want to check how the coli rice is now looking because um, my egg still needs a couple of more minutes, but I have a feeling my cauliflower is already ready to go. So here's a little trick I want to show you. Um, before I'm going to take my cauli rice out, I'm actually opening up the lid using my spatula. And then I can go straight in from the front, hook it up and take it out. And yes, my cauli <laughs> rice is already beautifully cooked so that doesn't need anything longer so i'm just going to take that away for draining and i'm going to put my eggs up there again so basically in total we do have the suggested time that the recipe was asking for to begin with all right so now it's just a matter of assembling all our uh, individual ingredients together for that salad okay so the next step it says put the aroma aside we're always opening up the lid away from us and here we go that's what i wanted to show you that's the steamed omelette straight out of the aroma and that's the end result we're aiming for. Okay, so now let's start the assembly. Okay, remember that were the greens, we had them earlier. So now on top of that, I am putting my cauli rice. Again, this could also be a normal jasmine rice. And now we can add the greens that we cut off earlier from the bok choy. And now um, the recipe suggests that you use red capsicum and um, what was the other? I can't really remember. Ah, uh, yeah, the fresh uh, bean sprout. So just to add a little bit of colour, I have I'm using green capsicum today, and instead of coriander, well, no coriander in my house, in case you haven't, no, haven't noticed yet, but I have beautiful parsley that I use instead. I want to show you how to cut up the omelette, and here we can use again our thermospatula that comes with it, and 
just um, cutting that up into pieces and that's where that sheet comes in handy so all the pieces um, stay on top and they don't dissolve into the holes and make it a bit <laughs> harder to clean afterwards. All right, there we go. Right, so we're going to assemble them, put them also on top of our salad and then you can either serve the, um, the, the meat separately or uh, also add that on top of the salad there. Then what we have uh, from our marinade, uh, basically a dressing left over. So I would then later drizzle that on top of the salad here and beautiful extra flavor and texture are black sesame seeds. So I'm going to add them also here on top. There we go. Alright, so that's what I wanted to show you. I'm going to um, take a picture of the uh, finished result and I'm going to add that to this video at the end. But basically this is what I wanted to show you, how easy you can uh, combine using your Thermomix um, for the barbecue and um, how easy was it with using the Meter Plus that takes out completely the guessing game when your meat is done. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's session uh, of Cook With Me for the Korean barbecue pork with rice salad, Corley rice salad <laughs> in this case. All right, enough from me for today. Thanks so much for joining. Don't forget to subscribe so you're not missing out on the next videos. Check out my channel. There's so many tips and tricks available for you, for your TM5s and your TM6s and all the accessories that we are using. So I hope I see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hello. Beep. I haven't pressed recording. So this one is a dupe. <laughs> That's my daughter Gina. You put us in the bloopers. Blooper. <laughs> I need coffee. Hurry <laughs> up. <right>, Cut. <laughs> I just want a coffee. I need to work here. I need to be awake for work. Hence the coffee.